this computer, excuse me. Here we go. If the energy infusion bombs were used to supply the energy needs of the world, how many of the nine megaton variety would be needed for a year supply of energy using data from table 7.1? Um, okay, I gotta look up that table. <laughs> not sure where that is. Actually, I know where it is. It's in the online textbook. Uh, this is not as far fetched as it may sound. There are a thousand nuclear bombs, and their energy can be trapped in underground explosions and converted to electricity as natural geothermal energy is. Assume world energy use is that. A large fusion bomb is that. Um, well, Actually, we don't need to look at the table because that's pretty easy. <laughs> it's not that hard. You're just doing this four times 10 to the 20th or 3.8 times 10 to the 20th. That's all you're doing. Yeah. So basically, you're trying to figure out how many bombs you need to, add, to um, equal the energy use of the world. And these are close enough because it's one to one. And of course, it's one and four. So roughly one times 10 to the four or 10,000 nuclear warheads will supply the energy we need for probably for a year. So anyway, pretty straightforward one for number eight. Um, nine, use of hydrogen fusion to supply energy is a dream that may be realized in the next century. Fusion would be a relatively clean, almost limitless um, supply of energy. To illustrate this, capture how many years the present energy needs so much. We supplied by one millionth again, sorry. of the ocean's hydrofusion energy. Um, so again, so it's just a ratio problem. Um, so fusion of all the hydrogen in Earth's ocean is that, and our annual world use is that. So yeah, so again, it's just... Um, so it's one over one times 10 to the six, because that's six zeros, times 10 to the 34. So if you kind of do a little cancellation, Um, oh, it looks like there's a question here. Oh, sure, no problem. Um, yeah, so going back to number eight one more time. And remember, I'm recording this. But um, yeah, all you need to do is just take the uh, annual, again, going back to number eight, uh, annual world energy use or a large fusion bomb uh, because really what you're doing actually is equal to the number of bombs times the energy from one bomb. Right, so um, that's just four times ten to the twentieth equals one times sorry three point eight times ten to the sixteenth, and uh, times we'll say x x with number of bombs. So it's four times ten to the twentieth, or three point eight times ten to the sixteenth. And again, um, the proof to one to one ratio, you know, and you can kind of reduce, subtract the exponents here. So that just goes away. And that comes four. So that's why it's one times 10 to the four, or roughly 10,000 bombs. So again, that's number eight. So any questions about number eight at all? Nope, we're okay. Cool. Um, can I clear the screen? Okay. Forever hold your peace. Okay, here we go. <laughs> can you get back? Just let me know. All right. So now for number nine. Um, yeah, so how many years of present energy, um, how many years the present energy needs the world could be supplied by one millionth uh, so you only need a fraction of the um, 
So you don't need like, no, not even half, like way less than half, right? So you only need a small part of it. So you're gonna do this. So that's what I'm calculating right now. And actually you can see that um, these kind of reduce like that. So that's how much we'd be using. Now remember, um, the annual usage is four times 10 to the 20th. So if you take annual energy needs times the number of years, that's going to equal um, one millionth of hydrogen fusion from oceans. So it's come with a verbal model. So that's one times 10 to the 28th. That's four times 10 to the 20th. And again, we'll call it X number of years. Solve for X, <clears throat> it's gonna look just like this. So that's gonna be 0 0.25 times 10 to the eighth. And you're just gonna borrow 10. So 2.5 times 10 to the seventh years. Which is a long, 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 long time. So basically, if we can learn how to harness the energy that we have from the bombs we built, <laughs> because we built those bombs to scare the countries or you know to potentially kill the people, which is really sad. Um, and fortunately, that hasn't happened since um, World War II. Um, that would be good if we can harness that energy, or you know, if we harness the energy from the oceans. So that's what eight and nine are kind of getting at. Um, so any questions about eight or nine? Before I turn you guys listen to six, seven. Okay. So again, uh, this is all recording. So I'll make sure I get the recordings from yesterday up. And then also we'll put um, these recordings um, as well. Okay, so let me go ahead and clear. Stop sharing. Uh, actually, let me share one more time, sorry. Uh, I could probably stop the recording though.